Kosovo, a tiny troubled province of the former Yugoslavia. As the 20th century drew to a close, a bitter and bloody war raged throughout this region. It was a war that left few untouched. The war in Kosovo was not a conventional war. It was one of ethnic cleansing. The world was shocked by heartbreaking images of mass murder and wanton destruction. Some 900,000 refugees, nearly half the population of Kosovo, were driven from their homes. It seemed that the gates of hell had been opened. This is the story of how one nation came to help those who had lost all hope. In 1998, Europe was shocked by the news of yet another war in Yugoslavia. Even 2,000 miles away in the United Arab Emirates, the unfolding conflict in the Balkans began to horrify many Emiratis. I remember when we were in this situation, the international government started to get the news of the people who were going to get rid of the Serbs and to get rid of the Serbs. أكثر حرقة عليهم منهم. طبعا هذه مأساة كبيرة مأساة كبيرة حدثت لل مش للمسلمين اللي في كوسو فقط مأساة كانت للعالم أجمع مأساة كانت مش للناس اللي في أوروبا. كان شعور يا أيام الكوسوفو كنا صغار لكن كنت متأثر بال باللي يصير في الدول الثانية. But compassion for fellow Muslims would bring this small Gulf state into the heart of Europe and the middle of an ethnic war. The Balkan Wars were born out of the breakup of the communist state of Yugoslavia, a brotherhood of six republics, Serbia, Croatia, Bosnia, Slovenia, Macedonia, and Montenegro had been held together by a dictator, Marshal Tito, and a repressive communist regime. But when the Iron Curtain fell, deep tribal resentments were unleashed. Out of the most powerful ethnic group, the Serbs, emerged a politician who saw his chance to exploit these ethnic tensions for his own gain. His name was Slobodan Milosevic. Milosevic used Kosovo as, as his lever for gaining power in Serbia. He very much saw an opportunity that if he could make a big issue out of Kosovo, he could use this to place himself at the top of the political tree. Defeat by the Turkish Empire at Kosovo Field in 1389 had marked the end of Serb domination of the region and the loss of a sacred land. From here, the seeds of deep resentment were sown. What has happened, though, over the centuries is that Serbs have tended to leave Kosovo and Albanians, who are mostly Muslims, have moved into Kosovo. And for that reason, it's always been a bone of contention uh, between the two peoples as to who should rule this uh, patch of land. A greater Serbia threatened Yugoslavia's other republics, and one by one, they declared their independence. The federation founded on brotherhood and unity was ripped apart by war. A decade later, the country lay in ruins, but Milosevic was still in power and Kosovo was in his sights. The 
qyse në vitin 1989, kur kanë fillue që ju ka marë autonomia e Kosovës nga Serbia, që kanë fillu demonstratat dhe pastaj okupimi i Kosovës me ushtri e polici. What began as a gradual erosion of civil liberties quickly became a complete crackdown by Serb police and paramilitaries. Krejt ishin këto dhe shpesherë ju thëshin besimtarëve që ju emigroni, shkoni prej këtujt se jeni të azizë atje ku e keni fejnë, këtu s'keni venë. Mu kesu situata dhe shfaqja e ushtëris qlirim tharet të Kosovës. The Kosovo Liberation Army did not really have the military strength to be able to kick out uh, the Serbian army through its own strength. What it could do was to provoke the Serbian army into atrocities, which then outraged world opinion. Each KLA attack was met with brutal Serbian retaliation. Caught in the middle were innocent civilians. Burri e me ka pas e me nga gjem gjerë burri, ka punu këto në shkollë si dë marë. Burri e me që ka punu këto në shkollë, a ju konë te për i mire dhe shëshnija së dë adite për menin, e i marë këpeja tjeti për kje këto në shkollë, veti ka janë me bicikel, e u interesu për ta, ka njerë kur kështë kur të lirë me lujtë, ja që shto. Muzika Dë djelë të emi gjështë vihret i kanë mjë qato, edhe këto, kër i tha vihret jem, që të i ka orëtha dhe pes heri i kanë mshu e kanë rëzu pej traktorit e kanë ngre, i tha të je u që kë je konë, tha ju valon, tha kurs jem konë në që kë, edhe kanë qitë e kanë mjëtë. Qato djallë i madhë, më ka thonë, a që unë edhe njerë e këshyri bobën, Nën vjetë, nuk disha që shme lëmë këto, e me morë me hje këto për gjenazës, që shtu kom. Gjdo ditë ne përjetoj shumë rënë mirën, dhe aty u bo, jo vetëm një vrasje, po mu i thamë edhe, ishtë vrasje në genocidi. Kosovo's crisis now is full blown. And if we do not act, clearly it will get even worse. After years of allowing atrocities to take place unopposed in former Yugoslavia, the world could stand back no more. On March the 24th, 1999, NATO's bombardment of Serbia began. NATO's strategy was to use military might to bomb Milosevic out of Kosovo. But a war that was predicted to last days dragged on as Milosevic dug in. NATO's bombardment intensified, so too did Serbia's atrocities. There was a good reason why he was in no hurry to give in, because it gave him the opportunity to get rid of the bulk, he hoped, of the Albanian population of Kosovo. NATO had gone to war to prevent ethnic cleansing, but the very people they were trying to protect were now streaming out of the country. Over 900,000 Kosovars left their homes, refugees who had lost almost everything. In the 
United Arab Emirates, the reaction to the plight of the Kosovar people was immediate. الشعب الامارات دائما يلتف حول قادته حول قيادته لذلك لما امر وجه صاحب السمو الشيخ زايد بن سلطان ال نهيان بسرعه اغاثه الشعب الكسوفي سارع الشعب الى تلبيه نداء المغفور للشيخ زايد بن سلطان ال نهيان within days millions of dollars had been raised across the entire emirates i interviewed the ue red crescent society and filmed streams of people donating everything they could for um, Kosovo and Muslim families. But a crisis of this magnitude demanded further action. The government called in the armed forces to assist Emirates aid agencies. حقيقه لاول مره انا اشوف ان يتوحد القوات العسكريه مع القوه الانسانيه فشكلوا بالتالي قوه انسانيه يعني مثار اعجاب immediately after the decision to help we left next early morning to Tirana the capital of Albania but this young desert trained army were on a mission unlike anything they had experienced before 2000 miles from home in the middle of winter 1999 Operation White Hand would present the Emirates armed forces and aid agencies with their greatest challenge ever. Refugees flooding across the border into the safety of Albania had converged in their thousands on the northern town of Kukes, 16 kilometers from Kosovo. Most had been on the road for days and were arriving in desperate need of warm clothes, food, medication, and shelter. Albania it was a really very poor country. There were no infrastructure to receive a mass amount of refugees. That was the moment where uh, we have decided that the best course of action is to go and to help uh, the refugees directly. The armed forces began construction of the UAE refugee camp, an ambitious project that aimed to feed and protect 10,000 people. But with thousands of refugees arriving into Kukes daily, pressure was mounting. ما يجهز المخيم نحن كان بامكاننا نستقبل الناس حتى في شقق حتى في مدارس حتى في ميادين عامه كنا كنا قادرين ان نحن نوفر لهم الغذاء والكساء والدواء وانا اعتقد انا 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 اعتقد ان 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 كان البشر العاملين العناصر الاماراتيه كانت عباره عن ملائكه بحميه بحميه شيطانيه within a 10 days time the camp was ready. And it was really a, one of the biggest challenges for us. And they proved that they can do it. For 10,000 refugees, salvation lay in a small part of the Emirates situated in northern Albania. Purpose-built to provide everything that the people needed, it was the largest refugee camp in the region and the second largest in the country.